What's up? Welcome <laughs> back to the channel. Hope that you're having a lovely day. Listen, before I press the record button, sometimes I make a lot of random noises to, to get myself ready and, and hype and in the mood. And I, that's why I laugh like every single time after the beginning. I'm just laughing at myself. Uh, today, we are listening to Billy Cobham. We're going to listen to the song Stratus. This is off of the album Spectrum, which was released in 1973. We had listened to the first track on the album, and now we're skipping a little bit, going ahead, moving along. And we're going to listen to Stratus. This is a song, a piece, perhaps, uh, that you guys had asked for it quite, quite a while, like a long time, actually. So happy to go ahead and listen to it as Billy Cobham. His drumming is absolutely insane. So let's go ahead and dive right in. It's Thursday night for myself. Uh, after work, had coffee, decaf, decaf. I, I didn't want to stay up all night, you know? <laughs> I got one more day. And then it's the weekend, so... I don't know what day exactly this video is coming out, but if it's not the weekend quite quite yet, hopefully it's coming up soon, and hopefully it's a great one that is coming up. Let's go ahead and get into it. This is Stratus by Billy Cobham.
Okay. That was so good. That was so good. My uh, my headphones. They're not. What are you doing? Stop. I didn't tell you to play. <laughs> my headphones. My headphones are in a knot right now. Okay. There's a lot to talk about on this one, but I got to get the first thing out of the way. The bass line from Stratus. It's the bass line from Stratus. The bass line from Stratus. This, does this sound familiar to you guys? Hold on. I'm wearing the wrong shirt for this. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen. Guys, massive attack. That's the same bass. <laughs> okay, massive attack from one of their best albums, the, the song Safe From Harm off of Blue Lines. They, they definitely sampled that or whatever they did because there's even a later part in Stratus that they also bring into the song. Um, first of all, that is one of Massive Attack's best song songs and as soon as i heard that on <laughs> stratus oh that's <sighs> but what a great bass line that's lee sklar by the way what an absolutely tasteful and groovy bass line that that that's a that's a bass that resonates with you okay now i'm definitely 100 percent you know totally honest i'm definitely uh like vibing with the bass a lot more because of Massive Attack and just because I've, I'm have i in love with them and that album and that song in particular. So I can't help the association. Yes, I've heard Massive Attacks and I grew up with that rather than Stratus by, by Billy Cobham, even though this is the original, you know? Can't help it. Either way, great. You know? <laughs> That's good. That's good. Um, Stratus. Opening up with a very atmospheric, spacey kind of dissonance and then the drums cotton does a big old drum solo in there um to be honest i didn't really care for that part i <laughs> it's just kind of there i could take it or leave it and it wasn't it's technically impressive but it's not like a part of the song that really does anything for me it's just kind of it's just kind of exist it just kind of exists as like an intro to the track you know the sounds in the beginning here by jan i would imagine this sets up a nice atmosphere. And even the drumming and some of the playing nicely kind of goes along with that atmosphere. But I feel like this is more of just like a, a kind of show off piece before we get into the rest of the song. But it's really when we get into this. This is where the track begins for me. Ooh, and that da -da -da -da, smooth, smooth as soul. Now, you also have guitar being played by none other than Tommy Bolin in here. And my man is bowling and he makes a strike. Oh, I could have made that joke better. Tommy is bowling. Hold on, hold on. Tommy is bowling and he hits a strike. He hits it out of the park. His playing is equally as aggressive and intense as it is melodic and harmonious. And especially with what Jan's doing in the back, just providing that certain ambience and mood for everything. This is a very nice motif that they come back to. That's very smooth. And see what I like about this, hold on. That's good, right back into that bass line. Finds its footing with ease. What I like about this is Cobham's playing. In the opening, it's almost like a show-off piece. It's almost like he's getting it all out of his system before he just backseats and lays back into the groove for the rest of the song. That doesn't mean he slouches, it's his song. You know, this is this is it's under his name. So he's not slouching there in the back. Cobham can be just as subtle and detailed as he can loud and brash, which is which shows all the makings of a great drummer, of a great musician, really, in general. When you're able to pull it back and really backseat yourself, or when you can come out of the cradle and into the front row and on stage and really put on a show. And he gives you both of those in this particular track. I definitely prefer the, you know, rest of the track to the opening but it's nice to at least get a uh, a view of both but i mean this they're getting down i love what he's doing on the kick just constant motion without lit up big fills bring it back the song also has the piece rather also oh that part that's also in safe from harm this part da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. yeah yeah that's good. Love that. Makes it speak. Makes it talk to us. 
Um, the song also has great dynamics. It has a great, uh, for, no, no, has great movement from low to highs to back to lows to back to highs. So it feels good. It feels cathartic every time the music comes up and every time it breaks it down. This just has, has kind of everything, to be honest. Like I said, I could take or leave the beginning, but the rest of it, it's cake. You know, the, the first part is like icing. Eh, it tastes sweet, but I can't eat it. But the rest of the track is cake. <laughs> Anyways, let me know what you guys thought of the track. You can let me know in the comments below. You can follow me in a bunch of places and support me in a bunch of places. But hope that you enjoyed the music. Hope that you're having a wonderful day. Hope that you come back tomorrow for whatever else we got going on. Did I say whatever else? I think I did. That's okay. Thank you so much for being here. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.